Hello everyone, it's I, Crocodile99. Today, we're gonna go back in time to the late Cretaceous, Cretaceous period to take a look at one of the most well-known Tyrannosaurs. Today is all about Albertosaurus. Okay, back to our top planet. Welcome back to Lake Cretaceous period around 60 million years ago. So today we're going to learn about the Albertosaurus, which is a type of Tyrannosaur native, given his namesake, was once Rome, was now known as Alberta, Canada. This is one of the world's well-known Tyrannosaurs, basically part of the Tyrannosaur family. They're closely relative to the famous T-Rex. So these are apex hunters, top of the food chain. If you want to learn more, here you go. Albertosaurus is a very well-known carnivore, but also a very large one at that. They can grow up to around 33 feet long. That's basically big for that type of Tyrannosaur. They can basically be around 11 feet tall at the hips and can weigh up to around 5,500 pounds. And that's a very heavy Tyrannosaur. Basically, with these heavy weights, they rely on basically rely on surprise by capturing their prey, and their large size helps them to basically tackle large prey as well. If you want to learn more, here you go. Now, Albertosaurus fossils have been found in Alberta, Canada, but there's not only been one individual, but there's been multiple individuals found in, in one location, which suggests that these um, large predators did have a social structure back then, and even gave the opinion that these predators might have even hunted in packs. So basically there must have been an alpha male, probably alpha female, with a bunch of others basically following their lead when it comes to hunting, using coordinated attacks when taking down large prey. If you want to learn more, here you go. Hey, wait a minute, that's not, that's not an Albertosaurus. Now this is a Gorgosaurus, which is a very close relative of Albertosaurus. Now, scientists believe that uh, many Tyrannosaurs have developed many types of different behaviors, such as hunting in packs, and even during the breeding season, even females caring for their young ones. Now, Albertosaurus and, and many other Tyrannosaurs do share similar characteristics, large size, large head, sharp teeth, short arms, so that makes them basically well known for being related to one another. If you wanna learn more, here you go. Now, they're in their native habitat. They also shared their um, basic native area with a lot of other dinosaur species as well, especially their more common prey, being hadrosaurs and ceratopsids, such as hadrosaurus and edmontosaurus. Now, because people believe that they may have hunted in packs, these large predators have may have used camouflage and the element surprise, as well as teamwork to take down these large animals. So basically, that basically gives like an, an inspiration how well they hunted. If you want to learn more, here you go. Now the very name Albertosaurus does mean Alberta lizard or Alberta reptile. Basically given his namesake of where it was discovered in Alberta, Canada. Now these large predators do have a very good history behind them between their social structure, structure, their size, their behaviors that allows paleontologists to basically dig into how these animals basically lived back then before basically we came along. So there's much more to be discovered about these, about these dinosaurs and a lot more stuff that hopefully we can discover in the future. If you want to learn more, here you go. That is the ferocious and well-known Albertosaurus. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode on the Albertosaurus. And don't worry, hopefully in the near future, we'll be able to see what other secrets this dinosaur may hold for us to discover. All right, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions for me, post on the comments below. Don't forget, <laughs> subscribe to my content, and I will see you all next time. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe more content, find my social media, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!